Hey everyone, it's Isaac from the Flutter Markup Language Dev Team. Today we are going to look at a quick way of getting an online cross-platform application set up and running using ngrok and Flutter Markup Language. If you aren't familiar with FML, you can check out our wiki and documentation. The links will be in the description. This video is intended to be a quick start guide. If you already have your own file server set up, you can skip ahead to downloading the FML server files. For our purposes, we are going to use a Windows PC and an Android phone, but you can choose the platform you have available. That being said, let's get started. First, we are going to create an ngrok account at ngrok.com. Once the setup is complete, we can download ngrok for our platform. Extract the files to a location you will remember, and double-click the launcher to start ngrok. Next, we will link our account with our software by copying this command and hitting enter. Navigate back to your ngrok folder and create a subfolder. Ours is called fml underscore app. Copy the path from the folder fml underscore app you created previously in the ngrok console. Enter ngrok space http space quote file colon forward slash forward slash forward slash paste it after this command and close it with a quote. Hit enter and this will start the ngrok service. You will see the URL that you can access your server at in the console. Next, we will get the FML server files from fml.dev. Navigate to get started. Select web. Click the download link. Once downloaded, extract these files to fml underscore app. Copy the URL from the ngrok console and paste it into your browser. Select Visit Site and there you have it, your FML web app running in the browser. To confirm this is running correctly, you should do the same thing on another device connected to a different network within the web browser. To link our server to the Windows app, let's go back to fml.dev get started, select your desktop platform, and download the file. Extract the zip file for your desktop, and double click the exe to launch the app. Within the desktop app, we are going to choose Connect App, enter the same ngrok address as we did in the browser, choose a name, and connect. And there you have it, the same app running as a desktop and web app. To get mobile up and running, you can follow the link from the Get Started page or search Flutter Markup Language in the App or Play Store. Install the application. Once installed, open the application. Click Add App, and enter the same address as both web and desktop. Give it a name, hit Connect, and there is our mobile application. Now that we have the app running on all platforms, we will quickly go over how to edit and build FML applications. Navigate to the fml underscore app folder you created previously, templates, and choose the one you would like to modify. With any text editor that you prefer, modify the template, and click save. 
Now you can see when we navigate to that page on each platform, the changes we made are reflected immediately. As FML is an interpreted language, we will always see changes instantly as they are made. And there you have it. If you would like to learn more about building your app in Flutter Markup Language, you can visit the wiki page where we have examples and documentation. For any questions or feedback, please leave it in the comments section below or join our Discord to talk to the developers and the FML community. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date as we roll out more content to help you build cross-platform applications using Flutter Markup Language.